Turinex neck where life is too short to be serious. All right, so this is a three segment video. We are doing three uh, mystery cookies. At least it's planned to be three. It could just be two. But as far as I know, it's at least two, potentially three. So we are starting with the Virginia Beach location. And uh, what we'll do is we'll hold up the box be all excited because I already know I go in and I already know what from the map I know what I'm getting but we're gonna surprise you I want y'all to be surprised also please go ahead and subscribe like comment and share this video and check out my Instagram redneck snack so that's gonna be my thumbnail but I'm gonna reveal to you what's in this box in three two one Blueberry cheesecake, everybody! It's a graham cracker base, cheese, cream cheese icing, and blueberry topping. Now, I think they kind of skimped here on the topping, but uh, a lot of locations kind of are doing that if they're doing the cheesecake flavor. So I'm not utterly surprised or heartbroken by any means. But yeah, so part of this is going to be reviewing each of these three flavors just briefly and i'm not going to take big slices of them i'm going to take half of a quarter so an eighth is how you might want me to say it but i'm going to go ahead i'm just gonna i did it to the whole cookie so anyone that wants it can have it and they can have more than one eighth but i'm not doing more than an eighth so i've had this before it's been a while all three that I'm planning on having, I've had, I'm kind of disappointed that I don't get to have uh, peanut butter with chocolate chips. I don't get to have oatmeal raisin. As basic as it sounds, I haven't had those from Crumble. That I don't get to have peanut butter. There were some interesting ones across the map. Uh, uh, peanut butter, uh, peanut butter and jelly. Now I've had the sandwich one, but I just think it would be better without two cookies. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's try this again. Mm. it's really delicious from the base to the cream cheese to the blueberry spot I picked the one that had the most evenly distributed um, levels of blueberry so you know it's just if they could cover the whole thing with blueberry that would be really good but it kind of falls a little short of an actual blueberry cheesecake. Like, you're not getting as much, you know, with a cheesecake, it's that much cream cheese, well, you know, cheesecake part. Then you got a little bit of graham cracker. And a lot of times you get a good amount of fruit flavor too. Um, but this kind of has, a, you know, the cookie base is kind of bigger than the rest of it. So it makes it a little bit of a hard time to kind of emulate or, you know cheesecake perfectly but it is a really good flavor i just love the freshness of the blueberry topping and for me honestly i'll give it a nine out of ten just because it's not quite as perfect as a cheesecake but it is quite enjoyable so that's part one all right Stage folks two. i can confirm that it will be three mystery cookies in this video. Awesome stuff. This is the Hampton location. So let's do a review in three, two, one. Dulce de leche! I was really hoping to get this on Cinco de Mayo when I did my first mystery video, which ended up just being a mango cookie. Um, but yeah, Dulce de leche was this location's flavor. And uh, they kind of skimped on the cream cheese icing, but I'm not too disappointed about that, you know. Oh, well, it is what it is. But yeah, let's go ahead and do another real brief review on mystery cookie number two. Snickerdoodle base with caramel and cream cheese icing. All right. Here we go.
That cookie hits right at home. From the snickerdoodle base to the addition of the nice, thick, and just so sugary combination of caramel and cream cheese. Sure, I'm never really the biggest fan of the snickerdoodle options that they have, but I think it works well. I really do. Um, could they have a better option for a Dose de Leche cookie? For sure. But it's pretty nice. Where do I sit on ranking this? I would say an 8. It's nice, gooey, and dense. But it's not my favorite cookie of all time. So stay tuned because cookie number 3 is coming next. To finish off this epic video, we have one more mystery cookie. It is from the Outer Banks. So, bear with me in three, two, one. Butterfinger! It's a peanut butter based cookie with Butterfinger pieces inside of it. It's got chocolate topping and then more Butterfinger pieces. So we're gonna do a quick review to top off this epic video. And then may you have a good week and I hope you had a chance to get the mystery cookie at your location. So, you know, that's all up to you. And uh, you can't get it anymore, at least not for a few weeks now because it's over. So let's try this cookie. It's much like many of their other peanut butter chocolate options. It's enjoyable, but it's a bit too simple. They really could have, like, I, I, I think they decide not to stuff the cookies at this location. I mean, yeah, stuff the cookies at this location. But I think that's really what you're supposed to do. And I don't remember ever having, like, I've had, this is the second time I've had it. Which is a good thing, because... You're not getting it over and over and over again. But I don't remember them stuffing it at the Richmond location I went to with a whole bunch of Butterfinger pieces. So I do wish it had larger pieces and more, and if it, it was stuffed, because I like the crunch of Butterfinger. I think that would make it so much different than what we have now. But it's pretty good. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to give it a seven and a half just because chocolate and peanut butter is such a good combination. But the fact that the Butterfinger pieces are kind of lacking here in terms of size and depth, I think that's going to have to be where we're at. So I tried three mystery cookies in this video. I've had all three before, but it had been a while since I had each, which is really cool to experience. And I really hope Crumble does stuff like this again. Branching off of that map they did, they have test locations. So I recommended to them that they do that as well. So hopefully they'll keep that in mind. So anyone who wants to go to a test location knows where they are and what they have. Anyways, that is my review. I'm sticking to it. And I will see y'all around. Yay! Yeah, yeah.